We get to choose many things in our lives, but one thing we don't usually choose is our name. Warrior, W as in watermelon. Could our name be actually holding us back in some way? Introducing to you the Dorian Gray effect. It says our name affects our personality and even the way we look. Within specific cultural groups, people can look at a person's photo and guess their name. What's your name? Vidya? Five minutes later. Computers can match names with up to 65% success rate. Lydia's, Vidya's, Dia's, Olivia's. One does wonder if it would just be easier to be a Susan. Indian Sanskrit names have a different background to that. But first, did you know that your name is actually written into your face? Like a person named Joy. Hi. All her life she must have heard, oh Joy, you're such a joyful person. You really bring us joy just like your name. And so she starts acting like that because people expect it from oh, her. Hello there. Marys are stereotyped to be more moral or someone named Rose more gentle and feminine. So whatever name you choose for your baby, the baby will actually end up wearing it unconsciously. The changes in the face are usually around the mouth and around the eyes. I wonder if my name Vidya has anything to do with the fact that I love learning. This entire YouTube channel is just me sharing all these interesting things that I learn. Aww. Anyway, it seems people are unconsciously drawn to things that remind them of their name. Is that why I'm always making these videos? That's why the Romans say, Nomen est omen, name is destiny. It can change our life path. Like Daniel Leeper became a high jumper. Su Yu from Los Angeles became an attorney. A book on polar explorations by Daniel Snowman. If your name is Dinky, I'm sorry, <laughs> you may not have the same urge to go towards a CEO or an influential role. Of course there's a racism. The same resume that was submitted by an African American name and a Caucasian name, the Caucasian name got more callbacks. And during 9-11, all the Arabic sounding names had a really tough time getting jobs. I personally have seen this work both ways for myself. Like some companies didn't want a foreigner. Other companies, they wanted to increase their diversity quotient. So it worked in a positive way, I guess, for me. And they used this power of names uh, with slaves, like Malcolm X, his was actually Malcolm Little. They named the family Little to make them feel little. It's just disconnecting people with their roots. Even the name India is actually like a slave name uh -oh. given by invaders who couldn't say Sindhu or Bharat, which actually means something in Sanskrit. Traditionally in India, they arrived at the name by looking at the star alignment at the moment of birth. Then they arrive at the first Sanskrit syllable of the name. They say that Sanskrit is a discovered language, not made up. The Sanskrit sound or name connects one with that object. A name is chosen that will help a person born under that star alignment to do well in life. And whenever someone calls you by that Sanskrit name, or when you hear it, something in you and in them is invoked in that direction. So we've got Krishna or Shiva because the intention is they want people to move towards that form. And to give the baby the name, they have an initiation ritual called Namakarna. After a puja, the name is written in raw rice and then the parent whispers the name into the baby's ear four times using a beetle leaf. It's not a secret, but whenever I've seen it, it feels like they're trying to put the name into the baby in a deep way. Later, for a woman when she gets married, they actually change the name to something which fits better with the new family. An old name may hold her to the old life that she lived. Of course, like everything that was made to actually help a woman through different stages of her life, this became a big form of gender discrimination. So it's not practiced very much anymore. Another time someone changed their name was when they were walking on a new spiritual path. To drop the old memories and the baggage, the guru would give a new name to a kind of particular type of spiritual path that that individual was going towards. So if you feel disconnected with your name or if you feel a name like Ho 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 isn't maybe holding you back in some ways. Hey! 
changing it is a completely personal decision. It's good to know what impact these names actually have for soon-to-be parents or even if you're naming a business or if you're an immigrant in the US like me. From that sixth grader who tried to turn into a Dia or a D, I've come a long way. I've begun to respect my cultural roots. So see on the surface, we often talk very black and white and numbers, but if you dig a little deeper, there's a lot of nuance and subtlety in everything that we do. Like my sister's traditional Indian marriage. I went through it not having a clue what was happening, but when I look back later, there are a lot of really profound rituals in there. I did a whole video on that. Please check that out as well. Your first name? Vidya, Susan wouldn't feel as fun anymore. 